All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rikai Kwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. And um, peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that's chanting the scriptures of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh and the downfall of this wicked kingdom. Okay, so uh, I did a video. Um, Maybe a couple of days ago uh, with this here. Uh, I'll let you see the description box. When this is going into, you know, the Navy. It says, is the Navy ready? It says, how's the U.S. Is how the U.S. is preparing. Admit a naval buildup in China. You know, that's come from 60 Minutes. And um, I'm going to use this on the Fair Use Act. You know, um. A quick snippet of it. Um, hopefully they won't, you know, give me a copyright strike. And it has a, it had, you know, the, the, this is it's a very important. Uh, uh, how many hits? You see, it got five million hits on this thing, and this this was uh, in the middle of this month, uh, March to. March 19, 2023. And this is uh, the year of the hastening of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Oh uh, No, so like it. Let me say that again. This is the year of the hope. This is the hopeful year of all prophecy to come to pass. 2022 was the year of the hastening of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so this is the year 2023. You know, these years, man, they, they flying by, man. And, you know, this is just another saying that the Lord is speeding up time, man, you know, for his elect's sake, okay? So, I want you to check this video out. It's not long. I'm going to use about five or six seconds of it uh, and come back with some precepts. Uh, uh, not very many, just, you know, some to hit and just, you know. And uh, I got a, 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 I looked up. The saying this guy said, uh, I can't remember the general's name, uh, but anyway, he's uh, over the Navy. Uh, here we go. His name is uh, Nora O'Donnell, Donald, uh, Donnell, O'Donnell. Oh no, that's not. That's the. That's a China spend the last. 20 years building the biggest navy in the world and tensions with the country continue to rise. Nora O'Donnell board, boarded the U.S. Nemesis to report on U.S. Uh, navy readiness. So that's that's uh, the host of the show. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, forgive me for that. Uh, but Anyway, let's let this video play, Lord willing, is edified to the flock. The saying, which is, see Pacham Parabellum, which is, if you want peace, prepare for war. There we go. So, and that's all I wanted. It said, if you want peace, prepare for war. Okay, so I looked up this, uh, this saying. I said, who said, if you want peace, prepare for war? Uh, he said, Cerebellum, uh, come to find out, look what it says right here it says this roman idea is still in many minds today okay so hey this, this is rome all over again right the edomites out of romans or the romans out of edomites should i say it says the this uh the original latin of the expression if you want peace prepare for war comes from the book of uh e p de ma Rila, I know I ain't pronouncing this right, but uh, Mitteras. I know I ain't pronounced that right. But anyway, let's see if we can. Uh, uh, we're going to copy that and then we're going to translate it and see what it has. Okay. Epitomar y militaris. Okay, that's it. Epitomar y militaris. Epitomar y militaris. Okay, so that's the guy's name. 
So ain't no need to trans uh look it up or copy it to see what's going on. So okay, it says before the fall of the Roman Empire, the quality of his army had began or had begun to uh, 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 deteriorate, according to Vinginus, Vingitinus, and the decade of uh, the army come from within itself. His theory was that the army grew weak from being idle during a long time of peace and stopped wearing its protective arm armor. This made them uh, vulnerable to enemies' weapons and uh, to the temptation to flee from battle. Okay, well, you know, that's pretty much all I really want to, you know, capture is this this guy was a, 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 a Edomite, a Roman, okay? And, and that's what we have today. You know, these, these the modern day Rome. Okay, so it says if you want peace, prepare for war. So, and that's the same uh, thought that the Lord has for these devils, man. Okay, this is Ezekiel 35 and uh, uh, Ezekiel 35 and 5 says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord God, Yahweh, I will prepare thee into blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Okay, so if you want peace, prepare for war. Okay, which we know this war ain't going to be, you know, uh, not. it's going to be one of those you know how Mike Tyson used to have those boxing um, uh, fights, man. These matches would last up to, you know, two or three seconds. <laughs> this is how it's going to be, man. The Lord said he's going to put the spirit on them to fight, though. There's fight. Revelation 18 to 21, that says, And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city of Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so with that being said, all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh, Bahashem, Rekab Kodash, that want us to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. And I'm Shalom to the whole full elect.